Hello everyone, welcome to Children's Ministry Lunch Break. We are so excited to be here with you on this lovely Monday. My name is Miss Zoe and this is Miss Hannah. And today we have a new friend joining us. Her name is... Hi guys, I'm Miss Marin. Woo! Woo. Everyone, <laughs> welcome Miss Marin. Yay! I'm really excited to be here with you guys today. Wonderful. So our devotion today is called My Plan. So I want you all to listen up at home because there is something in this here for you. Yeah, and we're also going to be reading from the Word of God today. So if you have a Bible laying around, go ahead and grab it on out because we're going to be reading some scriptures. Actually, Marin's going to be reading them for us. I will be. So that's exciting. Um, let's just dive on in and see what God has to tell us today. I have a perfect plan for your life. Jeremiah 29 11 says, I know what I have planned for you, says the Lord. I have good plans for you. I don't plan to hurt you. I plan to give you hope in a good future. But sometimes my plan might be different from yours. Sometimes it will involve doing something hard or uncomfortable, such as helping someone very different from you or being a friend to someone who's lonely. At other times, my plan for you will include troubles and problems. That's not because I've stopped loving you. It's because I want you to learn to trust me as we face those troubles together. Psalm 32.10 says the Lord's love surrounds those who trust him. When you're going through tough times, you need me more than ever. Romans 12.12 12 says, be joyful because you have hope. Be patient when trouble comes. Pray at all times. When my plan for you is different from what you expected, you can choose to be angry with me. Or... You can choose to trust that I want only what is best for you. Hard days won't last forever. Keep believing and hoping. Then, at just the right time, I will lift you up. Until then, give me all your worries and trust that my plan for you is good because I love you. And that is the end of our devotion. Yeah, and our last Bible verse is 1 Peter 5, 6 through 7. It says, so be humble under God's powerful hand. Then he will lift you up when the right time comes. Give all your worries to him because he cares for you. All right, children at home, Hannah and I and Marin would like you guys to take the time to think about what kind of fears you face this week. Mm -hmm. We want to give you about 20 seconds to think about your top three fears this week. So go. And you can write them down on a piece of paper or just think of them in your head. But yeah, Zoe, while they're thinking, what's maybe something that has caused a little fear in you this week? Because we are in quarantine right now, I'm fearful that I won't be able to see my friends again. Really? Wow. Yeah. Maren, what about you? I think one of my biggest fears is that I've been really lonely and that I won't have anyone to hang out with, kind of like Zoe. Mm -hmm. What about you, Hannah? Okay, I think maybe one of my fears is I don't know how long we're going to be in quarantine. Mm -hmm. And I just wonder what's going to happen with all of this. It's a little bit scary, mm -hmm. the unknown. Yeah. The thing is with our fears or any problems or worries we have in our life, as the Bible says, it's important to surrender them to God, to give it to him and let him yeah. be the fixer upper of all of our problems mm -hmm. and let him bring in those solutions. So have you guys written down all of your worries and fears? Are you ready? Yep. Yeah? Perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to pray and just give that over to God. And Marin's going to lead us in that prayer. So listen up. She might even have you repeat after her. Yeah, so I want you guys to hold your hands and bow your heads and close your eyes and repeat after me. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. We thank you for how big and powerful you are. We thank, thank you for how big and powerful you are. 
And we know there are scary times right now. And we know, know that there are scary, scary times right now. But we trust you and we give our fear to you. But we, we trust, trust you and give, give our fear to you. you. Fill us up with your love and with your perfect peace. Fill us up with your love and your perfect peace. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. That's all we have for you today. All right. See you on Wednesday. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye.